and welcome back to my channel today's video isn't necessarily going to be a vlog but i may or may not vlog at the end of this video i'm not really sure yet um yes i am doing a makeup video on my channel and i never really do these because there's there's pretty much only one reason I don't do them because I'm really not that good at makeup But I thought it would be a fun video to make just to kind of like talk to you guys while I'm getting ready to go out tonight Today is Friday and, and we just got done with our first week back for the spring semester And as you guys probably know if you watched my last video, it is my last semester ever in college Which I'm pretty like freaked out about if you guys are not already doing so I would love for you to subscribe because you're already here So why not so at the end of this video you will see a picture of me and if you click on it you can subscribe right from there also, don't forget to turn on my post notifications that we're updated every time I post a new video, which I'm going to try to get a video up every single week. It already has been a little bit of a struggle with this new semester starting. I'm not going to lie, it's only been a week into the semester and I was having a really hard time finishing editing the vlog that went up yesterday and uploading it and everything, but I'm really going to try my hardest to upload a video once a week for you guys. Um, sometimes I may surprise you guys with two. It kind of just depends on like my workload and I'm sure you guys understand especially if you guys are in school whether it's like high school or um, College as well. So but I really wanted to film a makeup video mostly because I do the same exact makeup every day But whenever I go out I like to switch it up a little bit as I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well um, And there's one makeup look that I've actually really liked doing on my eyes lately that I think actually makes it look a little bit different And what I mean by that is whenever I put different colors of eyeshadow on my eye for some reason it could be like a brown it could be a pink and they all look the same color to me like it doesn't really look that different but whenever I do this makeup look that I'm going to show you guys um, it looks a lot different and I really like it on myself so that's what I'm gonna be doing today it's not necessarily a tutorial because like I said I don't really know how to do makeup it's just gonna be like a get ready with me so just so you know it's not a tutorial just kind of like a get ready with me and for me to show you how I glow up for the night so hopefully we can turn this face into something a lot cuter. Um, Bobby's coming up later, which will be fun, so he's going to come out with us. Also, Lauren's boyfriend Michael just turned 21 in December, so he's finally able to go to the bars with us as well. So that's really fun, so I'm really excited. If you guys are in school, tell me what grade you're in, or if you're in college, tell me what year you are. I would like to know who watches my videos, that's kind of cool. Also, you guys probably have realized that I do have face makeup on already and my eyebrows are filled in because that's just what I wore to class today and I didn't feel like taking it off because I don't want to waste makeup. But my foundation is found at Walmart and it's only like $12 compared to other foundations at Sephora which are like $30 and I just don't feel like spending that much money like every two months which is how much I run through foundation. I know it's crazy but I use foundation a lot um, because I just don't like the color of my skin. I currently have the color soft beige which is the number 50 um, but it's not my shade. It's like kind of pink and I really don't like it. That's why I was actually hesitant on filming this video because I don't know how it's going to show up on camera but I already have some of it on. I'm just going to put a little bit over just because it's like blotchy in some areas because of how cold it is outside. So we're going to put a little bit over that. Let me go wet my beauty blender and I'll be right back. Beauty blender is wet. I do have primer on already. I remember when I did a video with Lauren last year and she told me I put a lot of foundation on but it's just what I'm used to. I don't know. I just like to put it everywhere because I'm afraid that I'm not covering it all. Overall, this week went pretty good. I mean, it was the first week, so it shouldn't be that bad, but I kind of got a little insight on how my classes are going to be this semester. They are going to be a little bit difficult, but I kind of need a little bit of difficulty in my life just so that I push myself to do better. Um, I've I've talked about this in vlogs before, but I only had class two days a week last semester. And as cool and fun as that sounds, which it was, like I did make the best out of it. I had a great time last semester. Um, I procrastinated like no other. Like I already procrastinate a crazy amount, but um, last semester I just did it way too much to the point where I just didn't do my best last semester. And I'm not saying like I got F's or anything. Like I did okay but it wasn't up to my standards and like me being in college for four years now I've kind of like 
been able to know how I do in college and I honestly do a lot better in college than I did in high school and so kind of like seeing my grades go a little bit down last semester kind of like made me upset and realized that I probably shouldn't have taken that many online classes. I only took two. Um, they were kind of tough online classes. Honestly, I would have rather taken them in class to get a little bit more of an understanding of like how assignments could have been done better. Like I said, like I feel like it's better for me now that I have the schedule that I have because I am going to be graduating this semester and going to be like doing my future pretty soon here on my own. And I need to kind of figure out life on my own and um, as crazy as that sounds to me like people my age are getting married already and that's just crazy like I am so happy for them that they already feel like they're ready for that step like it low-key scares me though because then it makes me feel like should I at least be like thinking about what life would be like if I were in that situation like if I was getting married like sorry Bobby I'm not rushing you or anything but I'm just saying like in my mind right now, it's just crazy to think that people my age are getting married. Like this is an age that some people start thinking about that stuff and that's just crazy to me. I just, I'm really excited for that stage in my life, but it can come, you know, in the far future. The girl's not ready for that right now, but I mean, it's obviously so much fun to fantasize about because whenever I was filming my cousin's wedding in December, like of course, I would think about my wedding from time to time, like my dream wedding, like what I would want, who I would want my bridesmaids to be, like everything like that. It's just like really fun to think about. Like I can't wait, but I can't wait, if that makes any sense. Also guys, depending on the weather next week, I think I'm going to try to film a drive with me because I want to do a drive with me every single month just to look back on the songs that I really liked each month. Also, I got a new phone case today and I'm pretty sure it's the prettiest case that you will ever see in your life. Literally $6 at Walmart. That's why I love Walmart so much guys. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows right now using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and I've been using this for a while now. I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil from Sephora but I ended up going to Walmart and getting a different one mostly because at my school we didn't have a Sephora at the time and the closest Sephora was like 40 minutes away and I didn't feel like driving that far just to get an eyebrow pencil so I was able to be cool with using this one from Walmart and I'm honestly going to tell you guys there's no difference. I literally don't see a difference. I think they both do the job and I'm really happy with how they make my eyebrows look. That just goes to show you, you don't have to spend $22, which is what I spent every time I would buy an eyebrow pencil at Sephora. I only spend like $8 on this now. My nose is running because it's winter. I hate blowing my nose whenever I put makeup on because then it just comes right off, which is great. I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion that I'm going to put on my eyelids. Whoops, that's too much. So I'm going to put some of that on my other one. I also want you guys to know that I was planning video ideas in my planner yesterday and I have a couple that I think would be really fun ideas. If you guys have any other ideas, I would love to know about them. Now on to eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys do eyeshadow or like contour and highlight first, but I like to do my eyeshadow. So I have this Anastasia Modern Renaissance Beverly, no, that's not how you say it, Julia. Be a beauty guru for one. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette from like three years ago. I'm going to be using the orange colors because I think they're really pretty. And also like one of the red colors for my crease hopefully that works out i mean sometimes it doesn't but watch of course it doesn't because i'm filming so i'm going to start with this shade right here it's called regular okay you can can you see it i hope i realize now this probably isn't the best lighting to do in the dark but what are you gonna do i'm going out on the town tonight so it's only eight o'clock why am i getting ready this early too late to go back now okay so now i'm going to use the shade raw sienna i realize you probably don't care what shade it is like it's not like you're following along with me with the same palette so i'm going to be using another shade it's called raw sienna it's actually really pretty i don't actually think i've used this and then burnt orange which is right next to raw sienna is gonna go right on the end now for the hard part we're gonna go in with this like red color which i'm kind of nervous about because this is probably where i'm going to screw up and have to do my whole entire makeup look over it's all about the blending skills you just got to get good at that and i'm not saying i am because it probably still looks horrible but i don't know where my other brush went i only have like two brushes and i don't know where it went my mom actually gave me this it's clinique and it's just um it's just a black eyeliner 
Wow, if that was out of focus that whole time, that's lovely. And recently I haven't been liking bottom eyeliner on me, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. However, I think I'm gonna add some eyeshadow. If you hear that vent, I apologize. Um, it is literally the loudest thing ever and it causes me to not be able to sleep at night, but there's nothing that I can do. It just comes on and off randomly sometimes, so it used to be all the time. And then I found out that it can just be on like auto. So now we have it on auto and it just likes to pop on at random times, mostly whenever I want to film. So then um, I'm using the, I'm using the Maybelline eyeliner. This is mascara. I think I'm gonna keep my hair straight tonight because I've been wearing it curled a lot recently and if I happen to take an Instagram picture, I kind of want it to look a little bit different than my last pictures. So I know I'm weird like that, but I don't know. I just don't like, I like to look, I like to look a little bit different in some pictures. For contour, I love this palette. I am almost done with it, but I'm going to be using the Tarte Tartiest Pro Glow to go. Nailed it. Um, highlight and contour palette. So I'm going to take this and I'm almost done with the contour. So I literally have to like run my brush in there real hard. And then some up here. I don't know, I see people do that. And then we do. Then I have the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And we're gonna use that under our eyes. And I am almost out of it. And this I actually really like and wanna get at Sephora, so I'm gonna have to make a stop. But apparently in the last year, they actually put a Sephora in the mall that is right by my school which is awesome because that mall has nothing. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really proud of this makeup look today. Last is my lips and I think I will be good to go. It's Times Square, it's ColourPop. Um, it's like a nude lip kind of thing. I found that hack on Pinterest. Oh, highlight, I forgot that. So this is my finished makeup look and I'm actually really proud of it, I'm not going to lie. Um, if you guys liked this makeup look and you think I should do more, not as like a tutorial, but just to sit down and talk with you guys as I do my makeup and try different things out, um, let me know down below. But I'm going to get my shirt on soon and then Bobby should be here in like an hour, two hours. Whenever we're about to go out, I want to show you guys my outfit, so yeah, stay tuned for that. So here is my finished makeup look with this shirt that Bobby got me. I'll actually do it, show you guys in the mirror because it's easier to see my whole outfit. So yeah, Bobby got me this shirt from Forever 21 for Christmas and then I have this bralette under from Toby and then jeans are actually Lauren's, belt's Lauren's and my shoes are from Charlotte Russe and I really like them. They're very comfortable actually considering that they're like heels. I really don't like wearing heels but they always seem to make an outfit look cuter but this is the makeup look that I decided to go for for tonight. I usually like wearing this out to the bar um, just because it like makes me look a little bit different than what I wear to class or just on a normal day. So yeah, that's my outfit. Would you like to show your outfit? <laughs> Is it too yellow? No, 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 we're good, we're okay. good. This is from Forever 21, I just bought it today. Um, these are from American Eagle. Belt oh, they're black! Me. I feel like you never wear black I jeans. Don't. Are they new? Yeah. <laughs> new year, new you? You wear black jeans all the time. <laughs> Belt's from Forever 21. Had to poke some extra holes in it, DIY. If you wanna, you know, learn how to do it, comment below. <laughs> and then these are also from American Eagle. Those are cute. Cute. All right, let's go to the bar.